COVID-19 has upended the lives of all Filipinos. Everything seems suspended while we wait for a vaccine that can hopefully protect us from this virus. But what if we already have something that we can take against COVID-19? VCO is the oil that is obtained directly from fresh coconut meat without chemical processing. It is a unique vegetable oil because it is made up mainly of medium chain fat, which is a non-fattening source of energy. When you ingest VCO, the lipase enzymes in your body release monolaurin, lauric acid, and antioxidants such as phenols. Monolaurin and lauric acid have been shown to have antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory properties in addition to other health benefits. As we now know, COVID-19 is a many-faceted disease. It was initially called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome because it first attacks the respiratory system. But we now know that COVID-19 is more than a respiratory disease. This virus attacks cells in the entire body, from the brain to the gut, and everything in between. COVID-19 can also cause severe inflammation, called a cytokine storm. From a pharmaceutical approach, different treatments are used, such as antiviral drugs, vaccines to prime the immune system, and anti-inflammatory drugs. On the other hand, virgin coconut oil is a many-faceted solution. VCO has been shown to be antiviral against other viruses. VCO has been shown to have immunomodulatory activity and VCO has been shown to have anti-inflammatory activity. I will briefly describe the evidence for each. This is the viral cycle, showing the virus entering the cell, multiplying inside the cell, destroying it, then exiting the cell to infect other cells. There are two ways by which monolaurin and lauric acid, the compounds from VCO, are antiviral. First, outside the cell, that is before the virus enters the cell, it was reported that monolaurin is able to destroy the virus membrane. In our own studies, monolaurin and lauric acid showed 60 to 90 percent viricidal efficacy versus SARS-CoV-2 at low virus concentration. Second, it has been reported that lauric acid inhibits maturation of the virus. This slows down replication of the virus inside the cell. If this process can be slowed down, we also slow down the spread of the virus. In our own studies, monolaurin and lauric acid are able to inhibit viral replication weakly and improve cell survival. So overall, our studies were able to show that the compounds from VCO are able to act directly on the virus in at least two ways, though each activity is weak. VCO does not have the strength of a drug because it is not a drug. VCO is effective as a functional food. The body's own defense is the immune system. Humans have evolved two immune mechanisms, innate and adaptive. I would like to share with you work that has been done by others, which includes the work done by my father, Dr. Conrado Dairit, on the use of VCO against HIV. First, several previous studies have shown that monolaurin and VCO increase T cells thus strengthening the immune system. Also, VCO is able to increase CD4 and CD8 levels in the body. This enables the body to defend itself better against viruses. Thus, VCO is able to modulate the adaptive immune system. We should study whether VCO is able to improve our immune response, specifically against COVID-19. Virgin coconut oil has been shown in many previous studies to be anti-inflammatory in in vitro, animal, and human studies. These studies tell us that VCO may be able to reduce inflammation in COVID-19 cases. We should determine whether VCO can reduce the COVID-19 cytokine storm. Indeed, VCO is a many-faceted solution against a many-faceted disease. There is scientific evidence that VCO is antiviral, immunomodulatory, and anti-inflammatory. So far, the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development has funded three COVID-19 related studies on VCO, our own in vitro study and two clinical studies. In addition, many other groups have taken the initiative to use VCO to treat people infected with COVID-19 with very successful outcomes. One such example was the use of VCO to control the outbreak of COVID-19 
at the Cebu Provincial Jail last April. VCO can be our very own Filipino solution to COVID-19. However, just as many studies are needed to fully prove a treatment, VCO needs more scientific and clinical research so that we can establish its antiviral, immunomodulatory, and anti-inflammatory properties. VCO is safe, inexpensive, and readily available. VCO is a high reward investment. VCO can be part of our Filipino solution to the pandemic. VCO from the coconut, the tree of life.